Little tip for that. My sons call me OGs and all their, all their little sons be asking me for advice. I got some advice for the fellas for real. Like, first of all, fellas, playing date night out. I ain't on no sucker shit. Hear me out. You got to understand where I'm coming from. Okay, now hear me out. You got to understand what date night is for you to understand where this is. See, date night was put together for couples who've been together for a while. Sometimes you forget to have fun. So what you do is you put a dope activity on the calendar. You go with great attitudes to that activity. When that activity is over, you go home, you have great sex, and you go to sleep. That is fucking date night. Am I correct? Yeah, it is. We all like sex at the end of the night. That's why y'all go with each other. You found somebody on my smasher from time to time, and you hung in there. That's basically what that means. You define it how you want to. But the cold part is men and women like different parts of the sexual experience. See, men, we like sex. Women like everything that happens up until you get to the goddamn sex. The more shit you go through to get to the sex, the better the experience is for the woman. That's why it's important for you as a man to plan date night out. Because if you let her plan it out, y'all gonna be all over the goddamn place. <laughs> like, what we doing tonight, babe? First? I'm like, whoa, nigga, first? Fuck you mean first? I... First. We gonna go to the movies. But before we go to the movies, we gonna get some ice cream. And now, we ain't gonna go to the regular movies. We gonna go to the kind, they got the ice cream and the fucking alcohol and the dinner. Then after that, we gonna go to this little bar by my house. They got a live band, a late happy hour. Then after that, we can come back to my place. And we can have a little Netflix, watch a little horror movie, maybe some popcorn, some tea, whatever. Then, you know, it's whatever. And then it's whatever. I'm gonna be tired as shit after all of that. You trying to tire me out so I don't ask you for no ass at the end of the night? Is that the game plan? And then you're gonna judge my performance. That ain't fair. We should have fucked four activities ago. I would blew your back out after the movies. You got me riding you around the city like I'm 30 years old. Nigga, let's go lay down and lock in. I'm nodding off out here. We got a mortgage together. This is stupid. Let's go home. <laughs> Women, my tip to y'all, very simple. If you're dating a grown-ass man, I'm not going to tell you how old the grown-ass man is. You know what that is. If you're dating a grown-ass man and he takes you to get ice cream on a date, that brother deserves some ass immediately. Right now, right now. That man is risking fucking his stomach up for your sweet tooth. You know damn well he can't handle all that dairy and sugar. And then you want him to take you to the movies where they serve a Hennessy. You done lost your goddamn mind. His stomach built like mine. He ain't gonna be able to handle all that. He ain't gonna be able to make it through that whole movie. He gonna be halfway through. He wants some popcorn, some juice or something. About to, about to shame himself. Go take a shit on a date. Go hide his shoes in his lap and fuck that bathroom up. That's what he about to do. Because if you wear dope shoes, you got to put them in your lap when you're taking a shit in public. They be like, yo, that's that dude with them Yeezys on to fuck the bathroom up. You need some metal muscle. Try some herbal life, nigga. Your shit is wrong. <laughs> I believe, uh, I believe if, if here's my, my couple of shit before I get out of here. Uh, I believe that if, you, if you've been going together for more than nine months and you can't make each other happy in the missionary position, y'all should go ahead and break up now. <laughs> I'm not saying you can't do all those other positions. I'm just saying you have to be successful at that one. You gotta be able to nail that one with your goddamn partner. You, every once in a while, you gotta be able to lay down and lock in. You know what I mean? You know where yours is. I know where mine is. God damn it, let's go get one. Stop fucking around. Here we go. Come on. Yeah, God damn it, let's go. You wake up early, eight minutes before the goddamn alarm about to go off. You ain't jumping to nothing exotic. You just, like, let's lay down, lock in, start to knock this out real quick. Right on time. Been on your feet all day working on the shift. You've been 11, 12 hours on your feet. You ain't jumping in nothing and exotic when you get to the house. I'm like, let's lay down and lock in. My knee swole. I ain't trying to do all that for me. Let's not fuck in the kitchen. Let's go lay down in the bed like adults. I don't feel like Clorox in the countertops when I get done. I just want to roll over and go to sleep. Let's not. Let's not do the wheelbarrow. I don't want to hold up your heavy ass thighs tonight. Let me just... 
It be the women too. Don't look at me like that. Y'all be all good till you gotta get on top. Then them guys, then the complaints start rolling in. About 30 seconds in, you can look at her face. She ain't even having fun no more. Like, oh my God, just start complaining and shit. My thighs are burning. Fucking foot fell asleep. You know what? I don't like the way my titties look up here. Roll me over. Let's lay down and lock in. I don't wanna do this. She try to hit you with the judo flip. You ever had her try to slide that? Slide the hand I didn't even try to flip you over and play. Hell nah, bitch. I ain't been down here in a while. I'm... Stop playing. No, nah, bitch. I'm staying. I ain't doing this. <laughs> All right. Well, I think, uh, I think that's about it. Yeah. Follow me online, man. J. Phillips Live, Joke Slinger, Mind of the Quiet.